This is the HyperX Alloy Origin 60 Compact Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. I'm excited about it because I love the look and feel of the whole Alloy lineup. Anyone that's handled any of the Alloy series boards probably knows exactly what I'm talking about. So inside the box, we get a USB to USB-C cable. It's a little stiff, but overall it's pretty nice quality. This little package has a couple of different keys that you can swap out to add a little extra swag if you wanna do that. It's a swirly looking space bar and a HyperX branded escape keycap. They also threw in this little branded keycap puller to help make your life a little bit easier if you're gonna be swapping keycaps. And finally, here's the keyboard. When you pick this thing up, you feel the weight. It may be tiny, but man is it heavy and solid feeling. 1.72 pounds to be exact. Here's my classic bending test, and it just doesn't move at all. Like, it's a total beast in terms of build quality. Being part of the HyperX Alloy series means it's an all-aluminum construction. It's got nice thin bezels all the way around, and overall, it looks pretty badass for a small form factor board. Keycaps are double shot PBT, and there's a little bit of texture on them. It's enough to make things grippy, but without feeling like sandpaper. And with that PBT material, you're getting good durability without having to worry about that annoying shine that could show up with some cheaper made caps. Like most, if not all 60% boards out there these days, you still have access to all those functions and controls that you'd expect on a full size board, but through the function layer. I'm talking about things like multimedia control, arrows, home, insert, page up and down, F keys, and even backlighting controls. It's all there, it just requires an additional key press to access. I'll admit, it's not as quick or convenient as having those dedicated keys on a full-size board, but, you know, that's the trade-off for the compact size. You give up some of those dedicated keys to gain some extra space on your desk. Underneath, there's two sets of flip-out feet that boost the stock angle from 3 degrees up to 7 or 11 degrees. Plus, there's some nice rubber feet down here to keep the board from sliding around, and it works well. Sliding doesn't seem like an issue with this one, despite the small size. My board's got red switches, but at the time of this recording, HyperX is showing that it's also available with tactile aqua switches. These are HyperX's own switches, and these reds have a linear keystroke with a 45 gram operating force, 1.8 millimeter actuation point, and 3.8 millimeters of total travel. Lifespan's rated for up to 80 million keystrokes, and that's not quite as high as optical switches, but still, I think it's pretty safe to say you're probably gonna want a new keyboard long before you ever reach that crazy high number of keystrokes. Here's a quick sound test. Nice solid sounds right there. I didn't hear any pinging or weird metallic ringing sounds coming from it during those tests or while gaming with it actually. Speaking of gaming, I've been playing with it for about a week now in mostly Apex Legends and I really like it. Like the keycaps feel better than what I'm used to on my main keyboard and the red switches felt like, well, red switches, which I'm used to. So there wasn't really any adjustment period for me to get used to it. But obviously your mileage may vary depending on the type of switch that you regularly use. All the main features you'd expect on a board in this class are there, like end key rollover, 100% anti-ghosting, and game mode to get that Windows key disabled. Overall, there's really nothing but good stuff when it comes to gaming with the Alloy 60. There's nothing here that would make me hesitate to use it for any type of gaming. It's got the performance and the durability and the build quality that you want. And I think because of that, it's going to suit pretty much everyone, whether you're an entry-level gamer or the highest level esports player. HyperX's software is called Ingenuity, and you're gonna need it if you wanna jump into the customization. So in here, you can set custom key assignments, you can program macros, and actually, you can even set some custom assignments on the additional function layer as well. So if we jump over to the lighting tab, this is where we can configure all of our backlighting effects. So there are a bunch of preset effects in here, but the choices are kind of limited. There's seven of them in here that you could choose from, but the good news is there's some of the like really popular ones like breathing and wave, stuff like that. And of course you can always just set it to a solid color if you want. And then there's also some triggered effects that you can choose from that'll kind of layer on top of there where you can set that and then it will play an additional effect every time you press a key. 
Ingenuity is not my favorite software to use for keyboard customization, but you know, to be fair, it is pretty straightforward and easy to use. And the keyboard also has three onboard memory profiles. So you can save your settings right to the device and that can be useful if you wanna take it and use it on multiple different PCs or even a console. The exposed LED design of these switches lets lots of light spill through around the keycaps. It's bright and vibrant enough to even light up your desk a little bit. Overall, I do like the lighting on here. I think it looks really good, even if the preset effects are a little more limited. Every once in a while, a product comes along that really doesn't disappoint in any of the categories that really matter. That's how I feel about the HyperX Alloy Origin 60. It's an awesome, well-made, built like a tank, all around good, compact, mechanical gaming keyboard. The only drawback as far as I'm concerned is the somewhat limited selection of preset lighting effects, but you know what? That doesn't affect the performance, so I'm perfectly fine with it. If you're looking for a brand new mechanical gaming keyboard in the compact form factor, I would definitely check this one out. I'm gonna have the purchasing links, more specs and details for you down in the description. Make sure you check that stuff out if you're interested. Give the video a thumbs up and get subscribed and we'll see you soon.